Hello, in this video we're going to look at a quasi-linear utility function. Uh, utility is linear in one variable here, uh, units of good x, and it's nonlinear in another variable, good y. So this, uh, this is a quasi-linear utility function. And what we're going to do here, we're going to do a simple proof to show that the marginal rate of substitution is the same for all the consumers in difference curves at a fixed level of y. So here's our utility function. We're going to get the marginal utility of good x. Taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to x, we get back 2. And then the marginal utility of good y will be given by this result here. Bring the 1 half down in front. That's why I got the 2 in the denominator here. And next we will calculate the marginal rate of substitution, which is the marginal utility of good x, 2, divided by the marginal utility of good y. So simplifying this result, multiplying uh, the denominator through by 2 and the numerator through by 2, we get this result. Following the rules of exponents, bringing this y to the minus 1 half power in the numerator, we just get 4y to the 1 half power. Fix y at any value, say 4. I could have picked any other value, but let's fix y at some value, say 4. And let's calculate the marginal rate of substitution. So when x equals 1 and y equals 4, we'll be on one indifference curve. And at that point, the marginal rate of substitution is 8. Uh, so I just plugged 4 into the marginal rate of substitution. There is no place to plug 1 in here for x. So the result is 4 times the square root of 4, which is just 8. Here we'll get on a higher indifference curve, where x equals 2 and y equals 4. This should be a higher indifference curve. More is better, after all. Uh, evaluating the marginal rate of substitution at this input mix, we're going to get, once again, 8, uh, because there's no uh, uh, value of x in here. There's no variable for x in the marginal rate of substitution formula. And doing the for the rest of these here, uh, the marginal rate of substitution is 8. Okay, so that is an interesting property of quasi-linear indifference curves. At any given fixed value, in this case for y, the marginal rate of substitution will be the same along all the consumers' indifference curves. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.